ARB Springwood and Cooper's Plains boss Mark Lacey loves cars. A former desert racer in trophy trucks and tinkerer with all things mechanical, Mark is fastidious about everything he does, as is the case with someone from a design or engineering background. As the owner of two ARB stores, he gets plenty of opportunity to take nice new big four-wheel drive vehicles and fit them out with some of the latest and greatest aftermarket accessories going around. But he's taken the build one step further now and is giving these vehicles personalities. And it seems his customers are lining up to get involved. The naming thing became quite um, a, a way of, dis of distinguishing the vehicles in the shop where we had different ones and someone would say, oh that's Bobo or that's Phoenix or, or that's Harry. And someone would say, oh can you bring Bobo around, we've got to do this job. Right. And, and it was a way that that we, you know, the customer could connect with the vehicle. And as they got very emotively connected to that build, yeah. they got quite passionate about it. And, right. and, our, and you would refer to it, they'd drive into the car park and the staff would go, oh, you know, here comes uh, here comes Trigger. And, and you'd know the owner of Trigger. You wow. know? So, um, so it's become a bit of a novelty. And we say you've got three choices. You know, once you commit to the build, you've got three choices. You've got to pick the color, you've got to get a slimline number plate, and you've got to name it. Right. So then that becomes a thing. We like, we like names that are associated with good things in their lives, like, you know, pets or yep. old girlfriends or... <laughs> or uh... Not always good. <laughs> Mark practices what he preaches with Mr. Grey, his very own 200 series Land Cruiser, done to his exact spec, a car that has recently crossed the Simpson Desert. So the, so, car, the cars are developing some fame online, is what you're saying. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that so people refer to it as I'm, yeah. I'm here to, to look at a Mr. Grey build. And right. Anyway, one day there was some some Japanese guys there, and they were they were very they didn't speak a lot of English, but there was words that I could connect with, and they were out the front with with our sales manager Matt. This is at the store, right? At ARB Cooper's right, Plains. Right. Yeah. So he, they're there and they're, they're having a good old chat, and Matt said, "Oh, Mark, while you're there, can we just uh, grab the keys? I want to show these guys some stuff in the back." So they're looking through it and they're all in and out of it and pulling out drawers and doing things and one of them said, wow, this is very much like Mr. Grey. And, um, and I sort of thought that he was being, <laughs> you know, being yeah. sarcastic and, yeah. and, and, I, and I said, I said, sorry, sorry, you say, this vehicle are very much like Mr. Grey. <laughs> and then I said, oh no, th this is Mr. Grey. And he just lit up, he went, oh my God, this is Mr. Grey. So, you've met Mr. Grey, now say hello to Harry. Finally, the beast. Tell me how it got its name and, and tell me a bit about the, the naming of the vehicle. Well, I always believe in getting in the family involved, so um, ever since uh, we, we were sort of tossing up a few names about what we wanted to call it, but um, uh, it really came from the, ki from the kids. From the so kids. Harrison Jackson said they always nicknamed it the Beast and, and that was their thing and even right down to the uh, the wrap that we got on the bonnet, unfortunately they, he's right into his race cars and right. that's why we put the carbon fibre wrap on that bonnet there. It looks unbelievable. This afternoon, with the rain bucketing down, we've decided to take on a couple of the creek crossings and slippery slopes Land Cruiser Mountain Park offers up when it's chucking down. Lucas is our guide again today, a park regular who knows his way around. Best guess as to how long you're going to be? Look, I reckon two hours is probably going to be pretty close. There's been a bit of weather involved. Yeah, and yeah. I, 
I haven't looked at the tracks from a perspective of I'm driving an Navara or a 200 series. I've yeah. been looking at them like I'm driving an animal. But yeah, if I'll, what I'll do, I'll guinea pig them all. And if I see see fit that they're pretty safe and you'll be able to have a bit of a play on them, I'll yeah. bring you up them. If not, I'll give you an alternate route to get around them and we'll meet at a point. Land Cruiser Mountain Park can offer up plenty of fun, no matter what the weather's doing. Contact the park's website for all the details. If you'd like to talk to Mark Lacey about adopting a new member of the family, get into ARB Cooper's Plains or Springwood. And for anything else ARB related, get into your local ARB store.